This segment shows grade three students solving the problem, how can you share 12 cookies fairly with five children? When the teacher manages the discussion of student solutions, the students have a chance to talk about their mathematical thinking. The students started with a context they understood and used their prior knowledge and experience to solve the problem. What we did was we gave everyone one cookie until we ran out of cookies, and we had to give some people halves, but we had the same amount, but one person had one left, so we couldn't be holes. Can you explain your thinking? We did that because we we tried this, the, it whole, but when we tried it whole, it didn't fit enough, enough people because one person had, because one person only had two holes and the rest had another half with it. So then we, so then we tried all halves and it still didn't work. So we thought that it, so, um, we, so it couldn't be, and so you can't split with it with five people. You can't split 12 cookies with five people. You can't split 12 cookies yeah, with five you need, people. Yeah, you need three more. You need three more cookies in order to do it. Yeah, or a half. These are halves, right? So one half here, one half here, one half. Am I correct? Yep. Okay. But you say that they can't split 12 cookies into five people. Okay, I'm actually going to move Avely's solution as well. Move it down. She tried halves, though. Oops. All right, our next solutions, um, Kristen and Jake said, we split two cookies into five pieces the bag. Kristen and Jake, can you explain, or one of you, explain your thinking there? We tried to um, give everybody the same amount of cookies, but we figured out we needed three more, so we tried to split it so everybody would get five little pieces, or two extra, two little pieces. So that's what we came up with. So and I, Jake, why did you split the cookie into five? and not into halves or not into quarters? Why did you split it into fifths? So everybody, so everybody can have the same amount. Moving on, we've got this solution here. It says each person gets two cookies and two tiny pieces. So whose solution is this? Oh, that's still your solution? Okay, Kristen, you explain your thinking there? Well, it's kind of the same one because we uh, messed up on one, so. We drew another picture. So why did you say two tiny pieces? They um, got two. Did you share these cookies first? Uh, yeah. You shared the, the whole cookies first. And then and what then was we, left over? Uh, two, and we split them into tiny pieces. And you split those two cookies into ten pieces. Yeah. Okay. Jacob and Amanda, you've got, you actually took your cookies. Can you explain what you did here? Took your cookies? We cut out uh, the two cookies and glued them on to the sheet of paper and we decided to cut them into fists because there was five people and it would be easier if you cut them into fists. So each fifth was for one person. So I could write one cookie, two cookies, and then one fifth yeah. of a cookie and one fifth of a cookie. Yeah. Is that what you were saying? Yeah. And then what, what about your explanation up here? We were, we drew all the cookies and then put check marks, check marks on them and put them underneath the people. And we, we ended up with two cookies left and we used our fraction mat to see which one would work. How did you decide which one to use? We thought that fist would work best because there was five of them. Because there were five people. Yeah. So our last solution is this one. Justin and Marley said each kid gets two and two fifths. Justin, do you want to explain how you came up with two and two fifths? We looked on the fra fraction mat and saw that um, um, we had the cookie that um, pay, 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 that pay, pay paper model and um, the fraction mat showed like practically the exact same. So we just um, took the 
the cookie and did the exact same thing that they did on the paper. And we saw that if we give, if there's two cookies left over, then we can give one fifth out of that one cookie to each person, and then what one fifth out of that uh, out of the other cook cookie to each person. Then what else did you notice? Then if you gave one fifth out of one cookie and one fifth out of another cookie, they they would all get two two fifths. All get two fifths. 